Hello there YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is focusing on this makeup look right here. Um, I wanted to do a look that is suitable for everybody. Um, I mean, like who can't go wrong with a smoky eye? You can't beat them. The first thing you ask when you go and have your makeup done, I'll just have a wee smoky eye. And don't lie and say that you don't because you do. Um, so I literally just wanted to do a really nice sort of grungy smoky eye. By grungy I mean like I wanted the depth to be like right into the inner corner as well. Like so that's sort of grungy to me. Um, I went ahead and put some glitter liner and stuff on above the actual black liner just to add a wee bit of something to it. Um, I also did do my face on camera as well. I tried out a couple of different new products um, on camera as well today. So yeah, this is what today's look is focusing on. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on. So for my transition shade, all I have used is a little bit of the third shade from the second row of the Jack and Hill palette. I'm just blending that all over the eye using circular motions and then when I get into my inner corner I'm just really really buffing it in because I want to have like a sort of grungy sort of effect to my eye look and then when I get to the outer corner I'm just using slight window whipper motions to diffuse the ever left on my brush just pulling it up and down up and down to really diffuse and blend that product all out So literally guys, um, what I used for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight was the number 17 pigment from Helen E. I have been obsessed with Helen E um, pigments. I love all their glitters. Um, I was in town yesterday picking a couple of things up as well for my course that I needed to grab and I went into Helen E and just picked up a lot of their pigments. So you get three pigments for £10 which is a total bargain and also you get three glitters for £10 as well but you can also get five glitters and a little fix gel um, from Helen E for £20 so it's literally so 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 cheap and they're really really like they're really good and pigmented as you can tell. Um, also, I just sprayed a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush to obviously dampen it before applying the pigment just to make it a little bit more intense. Um, so yeah, basically with my transition shade, I do want to really, really build it up because I want all the definition of colour to be the exact same. So I'm starting in the centre as per usual and I'm bringing it right in to my inner corner, like right in. And then whatever's left. Sort of, blend, sort of blend it up towards the bread one highlight and then whatever so you want to take it to your other next shade I'm going to use is Raisin and this is just a blush from MAC I'm going to leave you guys down a bit because this camera angle is slightly weird there we go so I'm going to use Raisin blush from MAC just on a 223 Luxe Crease brush there is a similar shade in the Jack and Hill palette but I have been wanting to um, try these out for you guys so Starting in the center again, and I'm bringing it right into my inner corner, just using window whip motions. We want this color to be sort of like the main focus of the eye. Like we really want this to stand out. We want all the shades to stand out, but this was like one of the most beautiful colors that I really wanted to be the main focus of the look. So I'm just blending that through the crease, and you guys know I love um, little crease brushes like this or for sorry blending throughout the crease because little tip of blending brushes are absolutely amazing for blending all the product out through your crease guys it really gets into your crease and really really diffuses and blends the product out seamlessly on the eyes so as I get to the outer corner once again I'm just using my window wiper motion to further diffuse and blend that colour and I'm also always looking at my other eye for a reference to see how far I have blown the shadow out or similarity um so that is a must to do just always look at your other eye and see if it's identical then I'm going to take my little 
blender brush that I used for my transition shade and I've just took a little bit more of my transition shade from the Jack and palette and I'm also just going over the top of that raisin shade to further diffuse and blend the product out and also just really really making sure that they're blending. So the next shade I'm going in with is Slim New York and this is another blush from MAC and what I'm going to do is firstly to get that really, really nice smokiness to my eyes, I'm just going to take a flat blending brush or a flat concealer brush, anything like that. I personally like ones that are a wee bit more fluffier um, to work with. So I'm going to take that Flim Nior shade and what I like to do is I like to pat the colour down on my lid first before actually going in with like a tapered blending brush or anything like that to blend it out. I just think that this gives the look the whole like dimension of a smoky eye if that makes sense so what I do is I pop that shade all over the lid just like so and then what I'll do is I will take my Lux Off Defender brush from Zoeva and I'll just take a little teeny weeny bit of the product on and I will just go over the top of the lid with it, just slightly through the crease. And you're just going to use your blend motion, so your circular motion to blend it out. And as you get to the outer corner, once again, you're just going to use your window wiper motions to further blend and diffuse your product out. And what you're going to do is you're just going to repeat the same process until you're completely happy with the intensity of your shades. So I like to go in with like a second coat, if that makes sense, to really, really build that up. So I'm just patting that all over the entire lid space again, taking a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on my same brush, my 227 brush from Zoeva, and I'm really, really starting to blend all that out together. Once you've done that, you want to go back in with your raisin shade, and you just want to go over the top of the Flim Neo shade, just making sure that the edges are all nice and seamlessly blended together. Um, because you just you don't want it to look like a black of colour, a black of colour, and a black of colour. You want to make sure that it's all like nice and seamlessly blended, like I just said. After you've done that, you want to go back and with your transition again and just go over the top of that shade. Basically guys, I don't know if I'm boring you or not with continuously showing you this, like step by step everything. But this is what I do in my makeup routine and on clients as well. I just, I want to do videos to show you guys like the whole step of the way what I do in my makeup routine and what I do on clients. I don't know if it is boring you or not. Let me know in the comment section below if you do want to continue seeing me doing this or if you just want me to not show you over and over again basically i want to give you as much information as possible and just not like focus on like not giving you as much information as possible if that makes sense so that is basically what i do so after that we're going to move on to our next step This is my favourite step of the whole entire makeup look um, and it's the little sort of glitter liner that we have going on 
Um, so I'm taking shade number five pigment from Helen A and it's just the most beautiful like dusty rose type of shade. I'm also going to mix a little bit of the Ingot Jeweline in with it guys. This is absolutely amazing and this is a must to have in your makeup kit. Um, it's literally only around £10. Pounds. Um, so so affordable and basically what this is it's this um activates your brow pomades again if they're dried up and your eyeliners you can also scrape a slight bit of your eyeshadow off of your choice onto like a wee palette or whatever um or a wee mixing thing and then mix a little bit of the jaw in with it and it can activate it into a liner so that's what i've done with my pigments so you can mix your pigments in with it as well um and it just activates it as a liner it is so so good and it's it's a must to have in your kit i highly recommend having this in your kit um i've also seen a lot of the inglot girls using this for a base before they put down their glitters but see me i have you i've tried it before and i just find that it ruined my eyeshadow whenever i've stuck it down it's like a hit and miss type of thing so it either works or it doesn't but um if I'm doing something wrong and if you've used this before to stick your pig your glitters down, sorry, let me know in the comment section what I'm doing wrong because it just doesn't work out for me. But definitely this is a must to have in your kit like set. I'm just gonna take literally one drop and that's it. You've seen it yourself. I'm actually gonna take another wee tiny bit. So it has a wee dropper as well, so that's really, really handy um, to have so it's not getting everywhere. And then I'm just going to take a little fine liner brush and I'm going to mix this together and see what I mean it activates it into liquid <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and go just above where my liner starts like so what I'm doing is I'm using this sort of pigment as a base before I actually stick down my glitter. I'm going to put down a glitter afterwards but I want to put this down as a base so that way when the glitter goes down it's slightly more intense. Do you know what I mean? So we've struck that down. And we'll have a wee bit of our base done. Then we're going to go ahead and put our glitter so down. The glitter we're using today is from Licked Cosmetics and it is in the shade, I'm not even going to say the name of that, but it will be listed across here somewhere. So it's just the most beautiful pink uh, glitter ever and there's like slight reflex of purple going through it. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm just using the same fine liner brush and I'm just going to apply that over half. Off that. And don't be worrying if you get it over your liner, guys, because you can go over the top of your eyeliner again, just on the areas that the glitter has fallen onto. So I just went ahead and popped some mascara and lashes on and the lashes that I use today are from Michaela Gaudi's new range so shout out to my girl Michaela. These are her boss lady lashes Um, she's come out with a lot of different I was gonna say shades, a lot of different styles. Um, I do stock these now in my studio, so anybody that is based in Belfast or lives in Belfast and wants to come in and grab a couple of pairs of lashes, you're more than welcome. Let's just speak about the packaging. The packaging is absolutely stunning. You open it up, and then this is your little um, component where you put your lashes in, and it says in the front of it, "Be a be a flawless boss lady with power and slay all day." So. I think that's a really really cute wee slogan um so yeah these are the lashes and they retail for 15 pounds each they can be reusable up to 25 times but they can also be reused more than 25 times if you look after them properly um but yeah they're unbelievable as you well, i just went ahead and popped the nyx or the nyx sorry um extreme shine eyeliner and this is in the shade brown perfection I've put that in my waterline because I feel like if I put black on it would make it look too dark so I didn't want to put 
black or anything like that i've also i'm also going to take this underneath the lower lash line slightly these are so so buttery i picked these up the other day um yesterday sorry and they're fucking amazing like they're so so good so um there's i'm gonna go in now with the flim Or shade from mac again and i'm going to just use a little bit of brush again blend that all out under the lower lash line just using window wiper motions and i'm gonna actually make this a lot more smokier underneath and then go back to this eye and do the same because i knew something was a wee bit different i'm gonna take a clean brush now just a more fluffier brush to further diffuse that product out underneath the lower lash line guys you can stop at any point with your smokiness under the lash line like if you don't want to go as smoky as me you don't have to um but i love a good under under i smoke <laughs> so that's why i tend to go a wee bit what you do with it I just think it really ties the whole look together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little smudger brush from Zoeva and I'm just going to put a little bit of the black or matte black shadow from the Jacqueline palette. Just slightly under the lash line just for further darkness. But I don't want it to be too too black so I'll only put like a teeny 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 bit there. Also, gonna put some over here to in this side, and then lastly, I'm just gonna take another bit of my black gel liner from Collection, just in my same 317 liner brush from Zoeva, and I'm going to take that into my inner corner because you guys know I love liner in my inner corner. So I'm using the tip of the brush and just slightly peeling that out. And then that's us. So, last thing, mascara. I always forgot. So, I'm just going to use the Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. And I'm just going to put this under my lashes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the skin. to contour today i am going to be using something else you all thought i was going to say behind my mama there but yeah but i ain't using that today i'm using harmony by mac this is actually another uh blush but a lot of the mac guards have used this for contouring and also thomas in my studio one of my makeup artists love this loves this sorry for contouring so i'm going to take it on an angled contour and brush Runs up the face today. I'm going to use medium tan skin finish from MAC, and I'm also going to use the Give Me Sun from MAC as well. But for my brush today, I'm taking the O6 baked blush from Moana. I'm just this is the end of the video i really do hope that you have enjoyed it 
Um, I just want to hit my lips off camera and the combo I'm wearing today is the Cappuccino Lip Liner by Collection of course. It's my favourite, favourite, favourite brown lip liner um, especially because I always wear nude so I like to sort of do a little ombre sort of moment do you know what I mean with the brown liner and then obviously uh, later lip lipstick so the liquid lip I'm wearing today is by Morphe and it's their virgin liquid lipstick so yeah that's where I'm wearing my lips so um by the time this video is already up I will probably already be away to Amsterdam yes I'm going to Amsterdam um, or it might be up like a day or two before I go away I wanted to do a tutorial before I do go away because I want to keep you guys a wee bit occupied obviously for the next week or so because I'm not going to be uploading for like another week or something because I am going to be away and I want to sort of obviously do a bit of a vlog for you guys because I haven't done a vlog in so long on my channel and um, now that I have the quality and the equipment and stuff that I need to make my videos a wee bit more better quality um, the vlog I want the vlog to sort of be really good do you know what I mean <laughs> so if you guys um, have been to Amsterdam before can you please leave a comment down in the comment section below where the best places are to go uh, preferably for food um, makeup shopping you guys know I am going a wee bit of makeup shopping when I'm away um, and just like overall sightseeing things as well um, so let me know in the comment section below if you've ever been and where the best places are to go so without further ado this is the end of the tutorial I really do hope that you have enjoyed it if you have give it a big massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave it would mean the absolute world to me click the wee notification bell over in the corner and you will get notified every single time I upload so yeah guys I will see you all in my next one I love you all so much and Bye. Mwah.